As the world is today tackling diseases that are posing huge public health challenges, including the ever-present threat of emerging and re-emerging diseases, we at the Kenya Medical Research Institute, KEMRI, are actively at the forefront, making sure that our country, region and people are safe and in good health. We are carrying out groundbreaking human health research that's of great relevance to our local and global needs and are proud to be ranked as one of the leading centers of excellence in human health research, both in Africa and the world. Our greatest uh, asset has been our scientists, our human resources. We have the uh, highest concentration of scientists who have PhDs in this region and who are very highly dedicated towards research. Our health research programs are supported by state-of-the-art research facilities and laboratories and a strong team of highly qualified and dedicated world-class research scientists working round the clock to identify, understand and find cures for diseases that remain a threat to the well-being of people around the world. As the parent ministry to Kemri, I can attest that we have a human health research institution that is capable to effectively tackle the responsibilities set before us, both as an institution and as a nation. So we've got uh, programs around non-communicable diseases, around One Health, which we are now expanding to include uh, uh, climate health, we've got biotechnology, we've got uh, sexual reproductive, adolescent and child health, we've got programs around uh, infectious diseases and parasitic diseases, as well as uh, public health and uh, health system strengthening. Among the priority medical areas our research teams are keenly focusing on include the new and exciting field of stem cell research that's offering great promise for new medical treatments and the harnessing and application of biotechnology for the discovery and development of tools and strategies for use in medicine and healthcare, including vaccine development, diagnostics and genetic engineering. We have a highly skilled uh, research personnel in Kemri and it cuts across all the areas that need be. We have the laboratory, we have the clinicians, we have behavioral scientists. We are also empowered by having very strong partnerships regionally and globally. Currently, uh, we have been running a memorandum of understanding, which is a research agreement between Cambry, Oxford University, and the Wellcome Trust as a funding agency. And this cycle goes in for five years and has been in existence since uh, 2003 when the first MOU was developed and the research has been done uh, well within uh, our centre. We are also carrying out clinical trials for new therapies, drugs and vaccines for diseases of great medical importance. Embrace the huge potential in natural medicine and drug research through the Dantu gene study, our scientists are discovering exciting new medical facts about the Dantu blood variant that provides strong protection against severe malaria. Launched Kemri Eldoret's Sports Science Research Center that is focusing on sports health research and will evolve into Sub-Saharan Africa's first anti-doping center and we are actively training and mentoring the next generation of top scientists and researchers to provide solutions to the rapidly growing healthcare challenges facing the African region at our Kemri Graduate School. We offer unique programs that address the health challenges, not only in Kenya, but also in the region. We are all aware and we all appreciate the evolving health challenges in the country and having programs which are well geared and well structured to address these challenges is very key. A medical research arm of our country's Ministry of Health, the Kenya Medical Research Institute, Kemri, was established in 1979 and is today one of the best human research institutions globally, with a formidable research culture that is robust, responsive and result-oriented. Kemri is uh, a government institution. It is a parastatal under uh, the Ministry of Health. We are supposed to work very closely with the Ministry of Health, which we do uh, usually in issues of uh, disease control in issues of surveillance, in issues of policy. 
whether it is uh, informing the ministry about new research developments, whether it involves the issues of UHC. Our role in outbreaks and containing epidemics is very critical for the country. And the, we are proud of that, that we can be able to be here to support the country whenever there is an outbreak, an epidemic, or a pathogen that is of national threat or international threat. As one of the largest biomedical institutions in Africa, Kemri is effectively utilizing new and novel biotechnologies to tackle diseases of great public health significance, including malaria and the COVID-19 pandemic. Biotechnology uh, serves as the part of understanding the genetic makeup of um, either a pathogen or the genetic makeup of a microorganism so that we are able to also isolate or maybe do a screening of this pathogen by looking through the genetic makeup of this pathogen. With stem cell research promising great medical potential and expectation across the world, our new and modern stem cell research laboratory is a regional center of excellence and holds a lot of possibilities for the country and region for local availability of some vital therapies that use stem cells. There's a high burden of non-communicable diseases, diabetes, cancers, cardiovascular diseases, as well as um, injuries resulting from um, accidents, and mostly from what we call the non-motorized transport, commonly known as the border borders. And um, in those scenarios, uh, stem cells come in hard to help in the generation of uh, disease or digestion of uh, the organs um, that, that may be affected. Hence, this is the future of medicine. The state-of-the-art clinical trials unit at the Center for Respiratory Diseases Research has placed us at the forefront of conducting research for better yellow fever vaccines, new treatments for TB, including vaccine trials for infants and adults, and shortening of TB treatment from six to four months. We've just been selected for a phase three uh, vaccine study that's going to be vaccinating adolescents and adults. And the idea of this vaccine is to prevent people who are latently infected with TB from progressing from latent infection to active TB disease. Herbal and traditional medicine is another area of great interest to our research scientists. The Natural Medicine Research and Drugs Development team is carrying out research to confirm the safety and efficacy of these medicinal products and developing effective natural medicines and drugs for use in management of various diseases in our country and the region. We are key in assisting the ministry, of course, through the Kenya Medical Research Institute in availing uh, medicinal therapies which can be integrated into the mainstream healthcare system. And this can only happen when we have data information which shows that first, they are safe, and secondly, that they are efficacious at known doses. We are very proud of our scientists' cutting-edge research in sexual reproductive, adolescent, and child health programs it is having a huge impact regionally and across the world. This groundbreaking research has greatly influenced global policies on pre-exposure prophylaxis, PrEP, and post-exposure prophylaxis, PEP, for HIV, intravaginal ring, and the single dose of HPV vaccine for cervical cancer. We were able to show that one dose is enough, just one shot. The World Health Organization took this data and late last year, they changed their recommendations to one or two doses for ages 9 to 20. With our huge strides in human research, largely centered on people and communities that we closely work with, we are strictly ensuring that the rights of research participants at every stage of our research are always respected and protected. We have a regulatory framework, which is the Scientific Ethics Review Unit, which supports making sure that the research we do with people is ethical. Our success as a human research institution is driven by strong and creative partnerships and collaborations, both regionally and globally, 
with highly respected organizations, including the World Health Organization, Japan International Corporation Agency, the Walter Reed Army Institute of Medical Research, Wellcome Trust UK, University of Washington, Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine, Henry Jackson Foundation, University of California San Francisco, Washington State University and USAID among others. We have about 117 collaborators uh, who are uh, working with Camry scientists uh, to fulfill the mandate of Camry. Camry, as a result of our cooperation on human capacity development, joint research and exchanges have now become a center of excellence in Africa so that it is not only contributing to the health of the people of Kenya, it is contributing through third country training to the health of people in African continent. We've been partnered uh, with Kemri for um, 44 years now, and we've had a very fruitful, collaborative, uh, and productive relationship with Kemri with many important achievements around the areas of developing vaccines, therapeutics, and preventive uh, medicines. Every month and every quarter, we report to the Board of Management of the usage of all donor funds. And also after every six months, that is semi-annually, we prepare a statement for the donors that are audited by the Kenya National Government Audit Office. We do this because we want to assure our donors that there is prudent and effective uh, utilization of the resources and also value for money for all the funds that are given to Camry. We are also currently establishing a training hub for vaccine manufacturing and building our country's biomanufacturing capacity by working closely with the Kenya BioVax Institute to produce essential vaccines for Kenya and the region. The support that you have been getting on vaccines from institutions like Gavi is ending in 2027. We have to actually do our own for our sustainability. So that has given us a push that we need to be able to get into this vaccine space as soon as possible. And we have taken this in Cambry as a top priority, especially right now with our formation of BioVax. We are involved currently a new initiative that imagine if there's a going to be a future outbreak of infection X, what will Cambry do? What will the country do? We are working with the idea that there is going to be other outbreaks like COVID. We are working with other partners on an issue called the 100 Days Initiative, whereby we can be able to have a diagnostic or a vaccine for anything that is new within 100 days. With human health research at the core of our mandate, we are channeling our research findings into important policies that are positively impacting our community's healthcare and also linking research work from our laboratories with the market by developing and producing world-class products that are specifically addressing given national specific gaps. This facility is one of the facilities that can help this nation in case of medical emergencies that will require the use of health products and technologies, such as diagnostics and medicine. These products include ChemRub hand sanitizer, TB side, a decontaminant, ChemVTM transport medium, ready-to-use culture media, ChemCov19, the COVID-19 PCR test kit, and PlasmoCheck, a rapid malaria testing kit. We have uh, given uh, a priority uh, to uh, research and innovation, which is our core business. Looking at the new innovations coming through, the new uh, research fronts that we are opening, the new partnership that we are opening, this will uh, significantly boost the position of the Institute as uh, a world leader uh, in human health uh, research. Our commitment as a, a team is to continue to position this organization uh, to be a truly African, truly global, and yet providing solution to African problems in terms of health. As local and global emerging health challenges become more complex today and demand an even more proactive and innovative approach, 
We at Kemri are proud to be keeping our promise of ensuring better health for our people and communities through world-class human health research. We are here as a frontline institution of national strategic importance. We always say that uh, while our army protect against hostile nations and hostile people, Kemri is here to protect the country against pathogens. Hostile pathogens or diseases are coming up.